Hello and a very good evening to you. Welcome. It is the six o'clock show for the one day special. And we have an excellent one day special for you now because we are bringing you the fantastic Zuri Moles. Brand new. And the lady who's going to help me with it all is our fabulous Catherine. Good evening, my darling. Good evening. How are you, Fiona? I'm very well. It smells good. lovely over there. And why is that, Catherine? Well, we have chocolate and fondant. Oh, something different. <laughs> something a little bit different. Yes. You're mixing it up a bit tonight, girl, aren't you? Yeah. Fabulous. Now, Zuri. Um, already, I've got to tell you, 20% of the stock has already gone. You have been shopping ahead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is because you know the quality, you know the premium quality that we're talking about when we are talking Zuri. These are all brand new. You can go on the web, you can shop ahead. Obviously, we've still got some of the moulds that we've had before, maybe a few left over. So just have a little look. Now, the Flex Extravaganza as well, of course, means that you can split the cost over two monthly payments as well on anything that's over a pound. But we're looking at the first set today as well. And these are our vintage phones and our door knocker impressions. Um, these are really quite incredible because Zuri Designs are the most detailed, intricate moulds available on the market. And they are made, and this is really worth uh, telling you now, because of the highest quality of silicon. And the reason Catherine is talking about fondant and chocolate is because they can be used for both culinary and crafting purposes. But what you would do is you would just separate your mould for the culinary yes. and your mould for the crafting. Yes, a separate set, of course, for your fondants. In fact, I'll say this right while I'm here. We're not going to eat any of the fondant. We're not going to eat any of the chocolate. Obviously, I've got to switch in and out. But at home, you will keep your kitchen clean. You will use one set for your culinary edibles, mm -hmm. shall we say, and another set for your crafting items. You would. And we're, we're in the crafting corner here. So we've just, we we just got to crack on, haven't we, yeah. really, darling? Uh, so let's look at these moulds. You loved the telephones, didn't you? The real vintage, old, style telephones, yes, aren't they? I absolutely adore these and Fiona actually if you pick up that mold and show yes. us the depth we've got I'm there, going to yes this is a whopper is it seriously is it's look at very this. very sturdy look at this very deep lots of detail in this one absolutely beautiful look at that so you can see just how detailed that impression is uh, because the thing is with, with the price points as well you're investing in in something that's going to last you know how sometimes you, you buy cheap you buy twice that's exactly that. It's, it's the same principle, isn't it? You know, usually we say you pay for what you get um, or you get what you pay for. Exactly. And these are going to last, last you. I'd like to say a lifetime. I can't guarantee anything, obviously. I can't do that. It depends how you look after things. But if you look after things properly, these moulds are made with the highest grade silicon. They are, of course, going to take those temperatures. We can put them into the oven up to about 240 degrees. We can put them in the freezer. You can go down to minus 75. They are totally reusable with whichever sort of medium that you want to put in there, whether it is, as we say, the edibles or those crafty items, such as your clay, such as your resin, yeah. such as your hot glue, such as your wax and your soap and all those other different things as well. Yeah, and I mean, the other thing is, if you're making a, a, a superb artistic creation or design, because these are so original and the designs are so versatile, they just stand out from the competition, don't they, Catherine? Because they're so unique. They've got that extreme detailed features. Exactly. So you're benefiting not only just from the quality, but also the designs, which, pro you know, probably, if you like, increase the value of your creation because there's nothing else like it out exactly. there on the market it's a really a truly original unique piece that you're creating Definitely. aren't you and we've talked about you know you get what you pay for it's like a pair of shoes you might go to the uh, store on the corner and pay 15 20 pounds for a pair of shoes or you might go into town and buy a really expensive pair that you know are going to wear better it's the same sort of principle so you know you are going to reuse these over and over and over again and talking about reusing them it's very very important to say about the angel policy as well because yes I was, that was going to be the next question actually, you can Catherine, sell yeah. what you make you can't take castings and sell the castings that's not allowed but you can certainly make your projects you can make your gifts you can make to sell so these are an investment absolutely i mean the, the beautiful samples here on the table i mean have we I, I don't know if you noticed there with the phone as well we've got the borders on the show as well which we, we certainly love the have borders. Yeah. you've been working with chocolate on those as well um but this is the door knocker. I don't know if we've looked at this one, Marcus, because this is phenomenal, isn't it? And it's actually workable, isn't it? It we is can workable. Lift the knocker there. 
Yes, there are a few that. do's and don'ts with this one, which are, I will come to. But, you know, I think as well, the, the knocker part there, the handle part, yeah. you could use that in so many different ways. That is a beautiful flourish on its own. That would make a lovely handle onto some furniture as well, because, you know, I love my upcycling with the furniture. These are definitely pieces that I would use on furniture as well. Fantastic. And was that, is that, is that a soft clay, that one? Because we can use our resin, we can use our soft clay. We can use, yes, again, the fondants, the edibles. So if you want a cake, that would be fantastic. But your resins, your clay clays your um your various different types of clay because there's not just one sort of course your oh. your wax your soap, soap they wax, will all yes. work in there as well yeah. anything that you can melt and it will go up to 240 degrees you're not going to damage those molds so we need to just think beyond the obvious as well definitely because these are so versatile now you are getting all three of those impressions in this set two flexi by payments of 19.99 14 pounds saving and i can say that a quarter of the stock has already gone so um please 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 don't miss out especially as we're going to be working with some different mediums today which is ex exciting now up today as well absolutely brand new hot off the press is our bugs and our beetles uh, have a look at these three amazing impressions and it's the size of these as well we're not going for life size we're going beyond that aren't we oh, we're going definitely. for much much bigger but definitely. when you you see that detail on on the actual shell on the the the, the little antennae the legs the, the almost like the hair's breath on the back of the, the the little legs and what have you i mean it's it's just a thing of beauty isn't it Definitely. And again, if you want to break these down and make embellishments, every oh, yes, time I see yeah. the insects, we've had insects before, but they were very different to these. These are more of a steampunk style. But I always think of beautiful brooches or buttons or embellishments for soft crafts as well. You know, your bags. Ooh, yeah. um, various different household objects. Again, just think about putting these onto drawers, onto your furniture. There's well, nothing I, to stop yeah. you doing that. No, absolutely. I love this fresh idea of, of these candlesticks. I mean... That is exquisite. I love that idea that you just said, you know, about the steampunk there, Catherine, because you can see that on, on these moulds here in terms of the design, can't you? Within, Definitely. I mean, look at those wings. They are Incredible. beautiful, aren't they? They really are. Isn't that beautiful with the photo as well? I and just think it's about the Zuri moulds that you've already got as well. We've yes. seen many sort of cogs within the little bit of everything, all the machinery. We've, we've had the cogs and the gears, or the gears previously as well. They sold out in a previous one day special. So many people will have those. Don't just think about these as being standalone. Look at what you've already got. Think about mixing them about. I mean, all of the numbers, the letters of the alphabet, the symbols, everything will come into play amazing aren't they just amazing now again it's the investment isn't it because you're buying the quality first time you're no, you're buying into the quality the intricacy the originality the innovation and the longevity you see this is this is this is we hope for your lifetime you know we, we know sometimes cheaper moles that they, they can start to break they can start to fray you lose the impression not with your zuri moles so uh, on first glance, you may think, well, that is an investment for you, but that is going to last, especially if you're making things, original pieces for people to buy. Yeah. Or like you said, to, to ornately decorate your original furniture. You know, you're upscaling, you're recycling, you're... Exactly you that. Know, you know, to over and over again. I would urge everybody to have a rummage around at home. If they've got anything, you know, candlesticks, vases, pots, even if the colour isn't right, even yeah. if they're patterned, there's so many mediums available that means you can colour them, you can repaint them, you can change them and of course with the moulds themselves you could completely cover them with different castings so you know everybody's got something I'm sure at home that they could use. Endless possibilities there. 312432, £74.97 for the, the Bugs and the Beetle collection. Um, over half the stock's gone, you were shopping ahead, so thank you for that. Do have a look on the website as well. And again, that can be split into two flexi-buy payments for you in January and February. Now, next up, um, I've had, uh, we've got some beautiful sentiments on this, the totem pole, haven't we, Catherine? We have indeed. Now, you may have noticed with Leanne, Leanne's our UK design team member, she's provided the samples we've got on the counter here. With the first set, uh, the one day special, if you saw the lampshade, the base to the lampshade was actually the totem pole, the the way up oh yes so again look at ways yeah. you can break this down I look at ways that you can that. change things let me just take that into shot for you if i go the other side that would help you wouldn't it um no no oh i was trying to there do a is. side by side and oh i failing. see what you're trying to do. there you go girl <laughs> there we go it's really quite simple fiona there <laughs> isn't that amazing totally changes it up definitely 
That's incredible, isn't it? And again, breaking that down, just using sections of that, you can overlay, of course. You can build up those different layers using the bugs, climbing up the totem pole. You can change it in so many different ways. Unbelievable. And then the sentiments within. Um, my lovely Lottie, are you able to read that to me again? It was something about the tracks, that were well, the impressions we leave behind. That's, that's this wee one here, isn't it? Sorry, it's hard to read back to front. Um... I'm not helping here, am I? No. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, we'll sort that we, out. We will, we will sort that, don't worry. One is about the tracks and the impressions we leave. You'll be remembered from the tracks you yeah. leave behind. Uh, and then this other one. I don't know if we can, cl can we close? The people at the bottom of the topen bowl are the strongest. I think that's that's That makes sense, there. doesn't it? That sentiment, something like mm. that, isn't it? We'll, we'll find, I'll find out the exact words for you there. I do apologise, I just can't read it back to front. Um, in fact, if we close in there above the cactuses, we'll probably be able to read it there. But the, what a great price point, Catherine. £27.99, 053712. There we go. When you feel like the lowest person in the totem pole, remember something, uh, are, are the strongest or, or always... Oh, I'm hopeless, aren't I? I'll get it done. I'll get that for you. Bernie's on it. Uh, so we've got two fabulous impressions there. Well, we'll just get Catherine to put some medium in there and then we'll find out what it is. And it'll all be a glorious reveal on the show. Uh, 053712, 2799, brand new today. Um, I'm going to move across and show you those beautiful borders now as well. And again, I'm starting to think of lovely mediums. You know where you almost reveal it and it almost looks like a pliable lace. I've seen Leone use those mediums. That's incredible, isn't it? Um, it's, it's just, yeah, like alchemy. So these are incredible. And the thing is, you're getting eight. Uh, sort of ruler length, aren't they? Sort of 15 centimetres in length there. Uh, eight glorious borders. And if, as we close in, you can see all, again, the different intricacies. Now, a lot of these are on the table with Catherine, so you'll be able to see the impression that these make. Apologies that I haven't a sample to hand, but we'll have a little look closely with you. They really are beautiful. And I'm thinking for the crafters as well, you know, if you're embellishing your, your notepads, your journals, uh, uh, that, that lovely pliable lace that you can kind of create from the borders that wraps around. What's that medium you use, the only always uses, and it? Oh, the, the modelling paste. Yes, the, the modelling um, paste, and then it's all pliable and bendy. Yeah, there's various different products, actually. We yeah. do have some on the show as well. We, well, you'll find it on the website. We do have the Medina paste as well, which would work perfectly in these moulds also. But the fact that they're seamless, Fiona, mm. means, of course, you can make endless, endless borders to oh. any length that you want. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of a, a perfectionist when it comes to frames. I like to mite the corners. So we might be doing a little bit of that at some point. Fantastic. Uh, absolutely brand new today, so versatile. And again, I'm thinking the fondants, I'm thinking wrapping around your cakes, if it's yeah. a pliable mixture that you're using, you know, instead of the old traditional material or the little bits of kind of paper lace that we use. Uh, £84.96 for all eight there, the seamless borders. 630485 and Flexi can create two installments of £42.48 pence in January and February. Um, last but not least, just to mention the web before we go to Catherine, is we've got some of the beautiful, versatile Zuri moulds that you possibly have seen on the show before, but have a little look on the web. So I just want to mention the butterfly, um, and we've also got the lovely perfume bottles as well. Now, we've got a freedom discount on there, you see, that takes it down to 19.99. With the Flex Travaganza, you can actually spread the cost over January and February, providing that first thing that you put in your basket is over a pound. So with that Freedom Members price, you are including your postage and packaging. So it kind of makes sense to, for £7.97, becoming a Freedom Club member. You have a limited standard delivery for the month. You could then split that, that cost there, which has had the saving built in, uh, £10 in January, £10 in February, and you're not paying for the delivery on top of that. So if you really want to be frugal, spread the cost, and you want the quality, then... Um, 
that's the way to do it, 908782. I remember the perfume bottles when they were on with themselves and Catherine, they did sell out, so it's incredible we can bring you some more. And you've got a lot of fantastic impressions here we can play with. You, for instance, this first one could be a decanter. We were saying it could be a sort of a, more of a Halloween bottle. You've, you've got the atomizer there as well. This could look like a, a lovely direct decorative warble of sorts. Um, this is the perfume bottles, 24.99, 457089. And again, lovely discounts uh, to be had when you look on the website as well well do have a look 20% off with your freedom club membership deals have a little look at those so you spend the one 797 you can opt in you can opt out you can get up to 20% off not just off Missouri designs but other designs throughout the month and a limited standard delivery as well so it it pays to save check out the price point as well in the five star reviews We've got metallic wax on there as well fantastic lots under there if you shop by brand Okay, Catherine, let's go to you and see the quality of these Zuri moulds. Okay, right, so I will start with the edibles because I want to get those out of the way because I will be using crafty items as well, so it, it doesn't look great to sort of mix it, although I guarantee we will not be eating these, no. Fiona. We can't no, do that because we're not in the kitchen. We're not in the kitchen, we're not in the kitchen hygienic. No. We're not. Now, very often we bring to you the air dry clay. We do have that available on the website, of course. You can use lots of different mediums. When it comes to the fondant, it's a very similar technique as the air dry clay. So, there is one or two little hints and tips I can give you though. We are going to start with the one day special. So we're going to start with the door knocker. Now I have already put some fondant into the, the handle part there as you can see. So I'm going to release that before I go with some more fondant into the top bit. So very similar to I would with the air dry clay. I'm using some corn flour and I'm just going to dust that into the mould probably should have done with a, a slightly larger brush but it's fine. I've already had some in there. Tap out the excess now fondant is quite a strange thing to work with if you've not worked with it before. I am not a cake decorator, not <laughs> by any means. I'm not a professional. I've dabbled, I've done bits and pieces. I've used fondant in moulds many a time, but the brands will vary. So the stickiness of the fondant will differ between brands. Um, a little bit like the clay as well, it's a good idea to sort of mix the fondant, to knead it and let it rest a little bit. Now I will tell you with this particular fondant, it was very, I had to buy this specially for the show, it only arrived yesterday. So it was very, very, very sticky. So what I've done, I've mixed some Tylo powder into it, okay. which if you don't know what that is, no, it is it is just a white powder. There's no sort of set amount. It depends on how you want, how firm you want the, the fondant. Right. So you can make it quite firm if you're forming flowers and things like that but for the mold it's nice to ha just to have it that little bit firmer so I mix some of the powder into the fondant and that is still quite sticky I can still feel that but hopefully because I've let that rest a little bit of time before the hour we'll try and put that into the main part of the the door knocker there but I've already put some into the bottom so I'm kind of skipping a step here, but we'll see that in the next step. So just using the moulds to flex, very much like the clay. If the fondant was too wet and sticky, you would find that it would stretch with the mould. What we're looking for here is some fondant that will literally just drop out. Now you won't see much of this at the moment, and there is some corn flour on there. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to bring the detail out in a little while. But there you have that lovely handle to your door knocker. Okay. The, now, the powder's actually kind of acting like a sort of a, a wax surface. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's showing us the detail there I'll in the mould. I'll just mold. brush a little bit of that off. So just yeah. so, I mean, it still looks a little bit grey, but it won't do because we're going to paint this yeah. with some edible luster. Ooh. Ooh, um, so there we have the handle there, but you can see the detail coming out. Now, doesn't that look like a lovely door handle on for it, furniture yes. as well? You really could, if it, especially with resin, something that's not going to break easily. Yeah, even if you wanted to put it onto your door, if you're using a resin that you can mm. put outside or a medium that yes. will go outside, that would make a fantastic decorative element, wouldn't it? Mm. So I'm just going to s slide that away and we'll turn the mould back over. So the fondant, as I say, very similar to the air dry clay. I'm literally just going to push this into the mould. So it has firmed up a little bit with the Tylo. Um, if I didn't have the Tylo powder, just letting it rest a little bit longer, letting it, letting the air get to it a little bit longer would probably also help. But we're just pushing this into the mould in the same way that we would the air dry clay. And then I will tidy up a little bit. So you can use a tool if you've got a cake decorating tool. You can use that. I often use the end of a paintbrush. Um, if I was using for cake decorating, I'd always have a separate set. In fact, I have got a separate set here for fondant compared to the crafting items as well. Never mix anything. You don't want to be mixing those utensils no. or the moulds. Okay, so just pushing that into place. 
obviously if, with limited time here I probably will spend a bit longer at home and if we're cooking with we can actually put these in the oven can't you we, can Catherine? you certainly can so if you wanted to make a cookie mix I would say find a cookie mix that isn't going to go too runny yeah you want something that's going to stay nice and firm something like a gingerbread would work very Ooh, well actually because it's brilliant. yeah if you watch the Bake Off they're, they're the biscuits that everybody use for construction aren't they because they hold their shape they're very strong they don't spread quite as much uh, we, we did have a recipe that was given to us by Karen Davies not so long ago actually so a lot of people might have that that was using Karen's cake moulds and um, yeah so if you want to bake directly into these these will withstand the heat so you don't have to turn them out you just pop them into the oven Amazing. and away you go Amazing. now I am using a rolling pin and the reason being because I want that really nice and flat again exactly in the same way that I would work with the air dry clay I'm compacting that fondant down so it's picking up all of the detail yeah. in the mold now let me just flex this and I can see because I've allowed this to rest can you see how easily that is yeah. just lifting away yeah so I'm really happy with that actually so I'm just going to just literally tip that out wow do you know I'm just going to bring in one of the pieces of packaging and put it on there so you can see a little bit better and once again if I just brush away a little bit of that corn flour look at the detail that we've got there now I am being gentle with this now because it could crack and break once it starts to dry it's at its most vulnerable can and I just gothic, show isn't it? very gothic it's beautiful mm. we are going to bring the detail out in a, in a short while you've also got in the mold two little impressions there mm. now this is a working door knocker so if you make those little impressions they will actually form the hinges well, the onto the handle so down. you can allow it to move now there yeah. are one or two hints and tips on this because different mediums will react in different ways so resin mm -hmm. probably is going to be the easiest to work with perhaps if you're wanting to use that but don't overfill the mold it tends not to shrink it tends to keep its shape air okay. dry clay tends to shrink right now if you put one piece of air dry clay in so the top piece that's going to shrink a little bit but yeah. so is the bottom bit and so are those little hinges as well mm. so you'd like to think that they would all shrink at the same rate it's ah, not necessarily not the case like so mm. if you ever find that you when you put everything together and I'll show you how to do that in a little while that the knock the handle part isn't lifting and it isn't moving freely you may have to take a little bit of sandpaper to whatever medium it is if that's appropriate or a little file but I think with resin that's probably the one that you're going to find is going to work the Easiest. best without right. too much sort of tweaking shall right. we say okay yeah uh, but for decremental uh, um, ornamental purposes you may not want it to to move anyway you might want to shape that around a bottle so it might change the shape of it anyway but if you are going to use it and you want it to move there's actually if I just get the paintbrush there there's actually an area here mm -hmm. where the handle sits in so you would pop that into there yeah then I don't know the camera's going to pick this up very well but can we, you see here oh yes we can see and that here yes this is where those two little hinges are going to fit so the two right. impressions that you've got in the mold if I just bring the mold back in sorry I just want to show you where they are uh -huh. they will then glue or fix over the top allowing that handle to, to lift slide and move. in because I, I can see the sort of pivot points that yeah. slide in yeah exactly so I'm just going to separate that handle again for a moment and I'm going to bring in something else that I did now this isn't the one day special but I did oh it smells so nice I don't like yeah. dark chocolate but this is dark chocolate <laughs> but just to bring in some of the borders because I think Ooh, wow. versatility of these is going to be absolutely fantastic these are your seamless borders so they will vary depending on which border you're looking at some of them you will find let me see if I've got one that I can show you actually um, I was going to say if you because I'm not if you just could hold yeah, that you, to the side or up for me slightly Catherine because I'm let just me see the impression oh that's I can't it. Thank hold you. it too long so it might start it to melt but we yeah. are going to bring the colour out here again but that is chocolate that is chocolate wow now chocolate will vary again so trial and error and I'm, I'm going to be totally honest Fiona yeah. you will not get good results with every single Zuri mold with chocolate because some are so delicate so intricate right. if you've got that really really fine detail then you're not likely to get everything out in one piece mm -hmm. but what the borders were wonderful I will talk you through how I did that actually because I melted the chocolate I let it cool 
ideally if you can temper chocolate that would be a good thing to do i didn't temper this as such but i did allow it to cool a little bit and then reheated it poured it into the mold i used a spatula to scrape off the excess so mm -hmm. i've got it really nicely down um, i then picked up the mold with the chocolate in it picked it up and down and dropped it a few times yeah because that allows any air bubbles to rise to the surface very okay. much like when i work with the resin i okay. do the same thing yeah. but you will see air bubbles come to the surface what i did then was put the chocolate into the fridge i left it overnight so it had gone really really firm now you can put it into the freezer once it's gone fairly solid you could actually put it into the freezer but if you are going to attempt chocolate with any of the molds my biggest tip would be try a little bit of um vegetable fat into the mold before you put the chocolate in just smear it a little bit because right. that will help release or a spray oil then when you take them out of the freezer or out of the fridge whichever you've decided to do don't just try and demold the chocolate straight away because it really will be stuck fast one of the reasons being because the molds are so intricate and also they have a matte finish so it kind of grips it's mm. like a key oh, okay. so it kind of grips so what I did was get a, a tea towel and soak it in re really quite hot water, mm -hmm. wrung it out so it's still got all the heat in there and then I sat the moulds with the base down because obviously the face of the chocolate, I don't think I've got the right mould for this one, but the face of the chocolate would be like that, yeah. that allowed just enough of the warmth to penetrate through the mould oh, just to allow it to release, to release it a little clever. bit. And then, saved us a lot of bother yes, there. and then very carefully I of course um, demolded it. Well, was there any particular chocolate you moved? Sorry, to ask, used. Uh, sorry, to ask a lot of this question, but I was thinking, is it high cocoa content or something? Was there any? Specific um, yes, actually, I, I did have. I'll be honest. I had to do quite a bit of research on the chocolate to try and find out the best sort of chocolate to go for. The yeah. higher the cocoa ch content, the better, really, for moulds. You you will not get results with every single chocolate, but if you want to try something a little bit different then the moulds are going to give you some great results. Um, think about things like fudge and toffee Ooh. and boiled sweets. Fudge. All of those things I'd love to be doing here on air, but we can't possibly, you know, have hobs and microwaves and that sort of thing and fit everything in. So it's not really possible for me to demonstrate them all, but all of those ingredients will work as well. So, yeah, just have great fun. Absolutely. In fact, tell us, what do you put in your Zuri moulds? Email us at studio at thecraftstore.com or let us know on the Facebook. Um, these are the set of borders here, and we've got them on two flexi-buy payments of £42.48. Eight amazing, intricate impressions, so detailed. Remember, you've got the highest quality silicon. We can use them for the culinary. Get a separate set if you're thinking of your crafting, as, as Catherine was explaining with the utensils. It is an investment because these are quality tools that you're going to use for years to come. Uh, they don't break, they don't deteriorate after a single use. Extremely detailed features. And again, if your creating makes to sell, then you're just increasing that lovely value, aren't you? So it's just working out at just over £10 a design, isn't it? Um, Suri has emailed us in as well. Oh, sorry, forgive me. I was supposed to say, how much of these has gone? A, th a, third, a third of the stock's already gone. A third of the stock's already gone. 630485, £84.96. So I've had an email in from our lovely Surya. Uh, hello, everyone. I do love a Zuri show, having purchased many previously. I can say they are the best moulds I have come across. Solid and the smallest details come out. I have used various material. Brilliant. Um, Am I pronouncing this right, Catherine? Beton, beton concrete? Beton? The beton, yes. The beton it's concrete. It's a car product. Uh, clay, soft clay, even hot glue gun. It all works very well. The projects are endless. The hardest part is which ones to add to my collection. Surya. Uh, Surya. I hope I'm pronouncing that beautiful name right. That is such a fantastic, fantastic email. Uh, absolutely brilliant. I know how exactly to pronounce Oh, right. Tell name. me. It's Soraya. Soraya. Yes. There was no E. Yes. Was Soraya. What a beautiful name. I think I'm name. safe in saying that because Soraya actually emailed me oh, and said, you pronounced my name beautifully. So I think Soraya. I'm saying it correctly. There we go. I do <laughs> apologise, Soraya. I have been corrected. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your gorgeous email. Let us know what you use in your Zuri moulds because the versatility and the breadth of what you can use within them is phenomenal. And can I just can I just put my hand up, Lottie? We've now discovered what what the sayings are in the in the totem poles. When you feel like the lowest person on the totem pole, remember that the strongest is always at the bottom. Aww. And the other one was. 
we will be known forever by the tracks we leave. I, like I feel that. happy now because we've got to the bottom of it. Uh, that's our zoo, that's our totem pole brand new today with those fantastic uh, embellishments of the words there that I just explained. £27.99, 053712. And again, with Flex Travaganza, you can actually split that into two separate payments there as well. Right, one day special, a third of the stock has gone as well. So let's go back, have a little look at that and join our Catherine. Right, OK. Now then, just before I move back, I'm going to move to the telephone shortly. But just while we've got the fondant and the chocolate still here, Ooh. I've got some edible luster here. Ooh. So I'm just going to take a little bit out. Now, don't tell anybody, Fiona. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some alcohol. <gasps> uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of al alcohol. Why is that then? Because I can turn the luster into a paint. Oh, my gosh. So this is this is how cake decorators do this actually. Yeah, you can because alcohol evaporates, but oh. you can use edible lusters, just dust them straight on like you would a, a mica powder onto your clay, oh. or you can use um, your alcohol just to sort of turn that into a liquid, of course, and paint. So just while we're here, just so you can see the detail yeah. come out a little bit more, Fantastic. let's just go straight over oh, the top. Look of the chocolate so i'm almost kind of dry brushing a little yeah. bit like well it's it's a little bit more than dry brushing to be honest with you because um dry brushing would have less on there but the fact i've got the dark chocolate underneath Ooh. and then i'm picking up all the top layer we're still seeing you know quite a lot of that brown chocolate coming through but we've got that lovely metallic gilded effect on the top but look posh is that? at that detail isn't that it does it does look something fantastic. like something that's been dug up for the National Trust or the Museum or the V&A. Do you know what I mean? Some yes. Some beautiful, you ornate that? exhibit from oh, You imagine back that when. round a cake, though, or, you know, if you're making some sort oh, of gosh. very special dessert, that would look I mean, lovely. that's unbelievable, isn't it? It really that's is. That's so special. That detail. So I'm going to put that down before I start melting it. Um, just while I'm here as well, just so, you, again, you can see the detail. This is the fondant that Ooh, we've just yes. done. Yes, So, again... This. Um, I'm trying not to get any more of the powder out, but just brushing it over the oh, top. All edible. With the metallic wow, luster there so. again. Probably I will dry brush a little bit more on this one. I'll not put too much on, so it's really catching the top of the detail there. But that detail is just coming through so it beautifully. It is so phenomenal, isn't it? Now you imagine that on a cake. Wow. That is just stunning, isn't it? It really, really is. And although you've got that area where you're going to fix the handle, do you know, I, do, I think you could you could easily hide that with something else. It doesn't have to be a door knocker no, at all. It, it can doesn't. be whatever you, know, you want it to be. It's a very ornate um, embellishment or badge on its own, yes, isn't exactly. it? Yes, exactly. So there we are. I'm going to put this to one side and uh, we'll leave that as it is now. But hopefully, I can't really pick that up too much because oh, it'll probably slide off. But look at that detail. So that just shows the quality of the mould. And I'll try and hold that still and hold it to the front camera because you do it, get... It, it looks like something Actually, let me take should the be in the V&A. It's stunning, isn't it? It really is. Absolutely. Um, look at that. Look at that. Look at wow. that. It almost looks like um, a heraldry. Um, yes, you can see the horns. You can see the eyes and the yeah. snout there, can't you? you can, it's just amazing. Amazing detail. Unbelievable, isn't it? Right, so now we've, wow. we've worked with the fondant. I'm going to just put that out of the way, put the lid back on the gin. Don't think anybody wants to drink that anyway. I'm, I'm going to switch <laughs> I was the wondering, has she gone for the vodka? <laughs> the white, white uh, rum. Uh, oh, Ian's emailed us in. Oh, you should use the door knocker on your crafter van. Well, do you know, Ian, I, thank I, you. I can't say too much. I, Sophie, the lovely Sophie, the lady who owns and develops Zora as a company. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching, Sophie, hello. Uh, we had a lovely chat on the phone the other night. Yeah. Um, I got to speak to her in person. And um, she sent me some pictures of something that's coming <gasps> later. Oh. Oh. I can't give clues. Gonna, I can't give clues. But it's gonna blow us away. the first thing I thought was, these are going to deserve a big project. So I might be totally revamping the craft van this year. Oh, my Using goodness. Zori moulds. Sophie, I need to know. I need to know. What is this? I can't, I can't tell you. I'm sworn I'm to secrecy. Tell you what, you have a drink of that gin, Catherine. <laughs> I'll ask her in a bit. Have another swig of that gin there, Catherine, yeah? 
Um, over a third of the one day special has gone. We're only halfway through the first hour of the launch and we haven't even got to those exquisite vintage telephones yet. We were looking at the door knocker there, the, the movable parts of that door knocker. And actually, I'm just going to swizz this box round slightly because is that one of the borders there, Catherine, as well? It is yeah. one of the borders. We will have a look at the borders because yeah. they are every one of them will match perfectly. So Isn't that as we said, totally seamless. On the on the on the box lid there, I just think that that that's exquisite, isn't it? Oh, you just heard the knock off you drop did, there, you did, didn't, didn't you? you? Yeah, proper drop, proper drop there. Um, so yeah, just just amazing, isn't it? That detail. I like lifting that up slightly because the light catches it, and you can really see the intricacy there as well. I mean, if you thought that was a project and a box you were going to sell, I mean, think of the value that you've just added, and then, I mean, the repetition and the longevity of that beautiful mold that you, you you're going to enjoy and work with. So now we're going to move to the phones. Uh, the one day special is two flexi buy payments of 19.99 over the third of stocks gone 9441.79. These I'm going to lift up that mold again Catherine. I, I know we've got a lovely emails here from people but let me just show you how deep how deep set yeah I mean look at that and I tell you what you can you can feel the weight the quality it's of very that hefty silicone. that one yeah do you know what I mean this isn't like any other mold Th these are just premium exactly seriously the quality of the sil silicon is second to none it really really was we spoke about this myself and Sophie yeah. the other night and um, yeah Sophie didn't want to cut any corners whatsoever with the quality so right from the get-go everything had to be to these certain standards and personally I've not seen anything as intricate as Zuri, the quality of the moulds. I know sometimes, and I will say this, this is important, particularly if you're using a lot of resin, you can find that the colour changes a little bit, the mould, or if you're using your micas, then you will see colour discoloration. Don't worry about the detail of the mould. It doesn't matter if it just colours a little bit or fades a little bit. It's about that detail. If you take care of them, these are going to last and last and last. So washing out with warm soapy water is all you need to do. They will go into a dishwasher as well, but usually just hot soapy water or warm soapy water and they're good to go. Let them dry. Um, if it comes to air dry clay fond, anything actually that you're going to put in there, you want a nice dry mold, so make sure that they have thoroughly dried out. We often use corn flour with the fondant and with the clay as well. That will just help in case there's any excess liquid or moisture in the molds. I'm not going to spend too long on the clay tonight. We do have it available again. I have got the, the usual hearty clay here, and we are going to put this into one of the, the telephones. But I think during these shows, because we've got so many different moulds and different depths of moulds, it's nice to explain the difference between them and yes. what you may and may not find will work for you. So going back to the telephones, mm -hmm. you can see how hefty these are. Now, something also I want to point out, Despite these being really, really thick, if I push into the bottom of this one, I don't know that you'll see it on camera, but the thinnest area is where the mould is its deepest, where you've got that opening. You're going to see. So the silicon itself may not necessarily be really thick in all those detailed areas, nice. but it is not going to go through into a hole. If you hold any of the moulds up to the light and you can see a little bit of transparency, don't worry, there is not a fault with your moulds. They are perfectly good to go. The reason that they are made to certain depths, this isn't just a case of making a cast and that's it. These are developed with so much thought and care and attention about them. If every bit of the mould was as chunky as the outside edge of this one, you would not be able to flex it and get anything out. Yeah. So, you know, there is a lot <coughs> of work goes into the plates that create these. Now, I am going to use the air dry clay next simply because I've switched over from the, the edibles now. Same principle. So we could be using fondant here. Um, there are lots of what I call twiddly bits on the phones. There's some solid areas as well, but there are some twiddly bits. You can definitely break this down. I mean, I'm looking at the, the wire that runs down oh, there. Oh, the wire's amazing. That could be a pipe. I think that would work so well with steampunk as well. It could yes. be some sort of pipe or, you Worm. know, so think about breaking these down and using them separate as well. And if you are looking for clay, we've got clay on the web as well. So um, have a little look on the website if you are looking at the different hearty clay, lots of different colours, lots of different pack sizes and price points. Um, so have a little look and flexing on all of them, of course, with our flex extravaganza. So even for the 9.99 pack, you're spending five pounds in January and you split the cost, spend the other five pounds in February as well. Okay, so 
You don't have to put your clay or your fondant all in one go. Um, you can put it into little bits and pieces. I did, this is a very, very fresh pack. This was new stock that was delivered to me actually because I'd run out uh, and it's very, very fresh. So it probably needed a little bit more drying time. So I've left quite a lot of the, the um, corn flour or corn starch if you're watching from the US of course um, same principle again if you're using the fondant I tend to do this I roll out shapes so I can put that into the mold nicely to sort of work to the shape there but if you just plonk it in as a full lump don't worry about that you can always scrape it away now there's one or two areas on the molds that you need to watch out for some of them I've just covered over so I'll point it out at the other side so if I just point out here on mm -hmm. the telephone can you see those little posts that are sticking up mm -hmm. they are level with the outer edge of the mold they are flush with the top layer so they are meant to be showing through you're not meant to cover those up so any areas that are level with the outside edge are meant to be holes now if you do cover them it's not the end of the world you can usually see where they are and you can always poke them through afterwards or if you do cover them again it's not the end of the world anyway now if your clay or your fondant was too soft you would have an issue getting this out of the mold. Now this may happen with this one because this does, I can tell you, see I get to know the feel and I always say, mm, yeah, feels as though it needed a little bit longer to dry. You're just sitting in the air on yes. the table. And the right? best thing to do is not put the clay into the mold and let it dry in the mold because the moisture will sink to the bottom and it will make it more sticky. The best thing to do is take the clay out and let it air dry a little bit longer. You're looking for a consistency where it, it feels a little bit more rubbery. There's another one of those posts there. Mm. Can you see that? Yes. Now the lovely thing about silicon, very little sticks to it permanently mm. apart from silicon. Right. So silicon will stick to silicon. Um, so in terms but, of yes, cleaning it and yes, keeping it. Yeah. So yeah, for cleaning that's great. But also sure. when you're using your different mediums, again, chocolate, your resin, your clay, whatever it is, if you spread too much of the medium over the top of the mould, mm -hmm. I've done that on purpose there, once you yeah. start to roll, Aye. you can see where the excess is and it will just literally just scrape Lift away. Off. Yeah. Okay, so you want to clean up and tidy up. This being a very, very deep mould, I am just going to use a paintbrush or some sort of tool just to push that down again. I should mention as well, Catherine, and for the lovely viewers at home, nearly 40% of the one-day special has gone, which is what wow. we're looking at right now with the vintage phones and the door knocker. Yes, so two flexible payments for 19.99. That's an amazing price point for those three deeply etched Definitely. Impressions. That's oh, phenomenal. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, you think about the theme. These are vintage telephones. Mm. You know, they're going to work with your steampunk. They're going to work with your your Parisian papers and yes. all those wonderful embellishments, your flourishes, your Speaking florals. They're all going to work together. You know, so you can build up the most amazing artwork. Who's the lovely, um, who's the what steampunk that uh, lovely uh, Leonie always works with? Mr. So oh, uh, Tim Holtz. Look, huh? Oh, oh no, you're thinking of Stampera, the yes, uh, Vagabond. Yes, it looked lovely with all of that, yes. and all those oh, papers definitely. and crafting elements. Yeah. Definitely. You think about, you know, using those papers, maybe you're saving your favourite papers. Make yourself an album and use one of the telephones on the front, front of cover. The album. Yes, or your a phone book. A I was just going to say oh, exactly I that. Do people I still have phone books now? I did actually bring a little notebook with me, which oh. was, I was going to turn into a phone book. Now, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to get this out in one piece because it is quite sticky, the clay, but let's give it a go. Now, this mould itself is very, very thick, so the flexibility isn't quite as much as some of the others. Now, the vulnerable points are always going to be these thin areas. Mm. So I would start at the bottom, and if I can manage to get that out, there's probably a good chance I can allow this to sort of just fall mm. out of the mould. Now, I am just, I know you can't see anything, but I've got to watch what I'm doing. Now. Well, we've, we've had a bit of a teaser there, the detail that we've started to see that the impression that was made on, on the clay there. I can't, I can't actually see what I'm doing now. <laughs> this is really what stands them ahead. Let me just know, try and get that the top bit as well. It is, it so is that detail, if the clay it, the was, if the clay was a little bit drier, so it was more rubbery, I wouldn't have an issue at all. Now I'm oh, just okay. kind of teasing. Time, this will be drier for eight o'clock, that's for sure. Right, let's okay. take it from the top now. Those vulnerable areas 
It's because uh, it's a new softy clay, isn't it? Yeah, it just it's to brand sit on the new. Table a little there bit are longer. some hints and tips I can give, actually, and it mm. this will come into play for the insects as well. If you've got any wire, oh, thin yeah. jewellery wire, yeah. where you've got any really, really tricky areas, bendy bits, bendy bits, yeah. sink a little bit of wire into those as well. Oh, I can't actually see what I'm doing here. I think I have probably just broken the uh, the top off there, but. We've broken off the uh, the top of the foam, but never mind. We'll put that back together, and yeah. we'll have we'll make sure the clay's dried a little bit more for later. But you can see, if I just put everything back into position, you how see, it if was. That, if that did happen at home, Catherine, we could just roll it all up and go again, couldn't you, we? You can just roll it up and yeah. go again. That's exactly what I would do. I mean, yeah. you can but stick together. To show us the detail. Yeah, yeah, you can stick together the pieces of clay, um, but I wouldn't. I would roll that up and put it back in. That's exactly what I'm going to do with this one yeah. because this is it's exactly the same piece of clay that I'm going to use for eight o'clock. Very, very yeah. forgiving. But I just want to make sure everybody is aware that different mediums will react in different ways. And if you are struggling with something like fondant or clay, it, yeah. it, the nine times out of 10, in fact, 99% of the time, it's just that the clay or the fondant is too wet. So mm. you just need that little bit of extra drying time. Fantastic. Let us know what you're using. Yes, let's have a quick recap. The one day special. Let me know uh, what do you use in your Zuri moulds? Is it the chocolate? Is it the fondant? Is it, is it the beaten um, concrete that uh, Soraya told us about? Um, is, it, is it the pastes? Is it the, the, the resin? I mean, gosh, so you glue gun. I know Soraya even said yes. I've seen Catherine do that as well. So we are looking at three incredible deep set impressions. I'm just going to move that over ever so slightly so we can see those. 40% now of the one day special has gone. You've got your phones, your vintage phones and your working door knocker there as well. You have got the incredible, uh, intricate, beautiful moulds. You've got the highest quality silicon for both the colony and the crafting as we explained. And you know, it's, it's an investment because they're built to last for years, you know, as opposed to cheaper moulds that can break and deteriorate after a few uses. You know, it's about the original, the versatile designs. They really stand out from the competition in terms of their uniqueness, the extremely detailed features. And, you know, you've got to benefit from those designs because if you're creating, you know, you, the value of your creations are greater because each design is a masterpiece in its own right. And the angel policy is that, you know, you're fine to make an income from your makes as long as no blank castings. You know, if you're in decorating it and using it in a lovely frame such as this, then feel free to sell. So uh, absolutely splendid. Uh, two flexible payments of £19.99, £944.179 and uh, approaching 40% of the stock has gone on the launch. Gorgeous. Next up, new today that we are going to get to, but you can see there's so much to talk about, isn't it? So um, Catherine's with us again at eight o'clock, of course. These are also brand new today, and I know she's got a chocolate bug over there as well. Over half the stock has gone for our steampunk bug and beetle collection. £74.97, which can be split into two flexi by pimps of £37.49. They really are detailed. I'm going to lift up this frame here that I didn't show you earlier. See that wee bug there? That one that we're just looking at now. I'm going to lift them up because that is this. And you can incorporate these, as Catherine was explaining, with your other Zuri moulds. Doesn't that look amazing? And I know Catherine's done chocolate bug as well. Isn't that beautiful? The steampunk punk cogs, the, the, the literal framing of the, of the wings. It's just beautiful. You could put bejeweled eyes on there, couldn't you? It's just gorgeous, isn't it? They're a lot of fun with the gilding. Edibles or non-edibles, yeah. Um, three here, and we were talking about decorating the home, not just our crafting. You can get these individually, I should say. £25.99 individually. But of course, you're saving £3 by having the three together. And they are such a lovely trio, aren't they, as well? Um, but just a flag that you can get them individually. So, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Three, one, two, four, three, two. I'm just going to get me a little bit of writing here for the totem pole because the lovely Bernie wrote down those, the wording on there, which you could use across any of your projects. But the totem pole is exquisite, isn't it? So this is one mould with three impressions on there and nearly 40% percent's already gone. I mean, look at that price point. I am going to show you this uh, on the side just because 
you know Catherine said mold depth does vary so and th there is a reason for that because there is so much detail on the surface there and you want to get that impression perfect every time and then within these labels here isn't that, isn't that beautiful that it's almost like an apothecary label there and I love that uh, like a like a, a lovely tag uh, so the larger one says when you feel like the lowest pers person on the totem pole remember that the strongest is always at the bottom and then our other one says we will be known forever by the tracks we leave isn't that fantastic and i love these embellishments of the cacti whether you're making an artwork there and all of these colors in the tone i mean you could split that up you could just have the owl at the bottom there you could just have the face there could be badges you could just have this winged piece at the top there just amazing isn't it teeth the growling teeth there it's really quite, it could be a beautiful bookmark as well. Think about your materials, your leather and what have you could work with. 27.99, very popular today, 053712. Of course, the borders, again, was, didn't that chocolate border, I mean, it was just one of eight, look amazing when Catherine dusted it with the edible dust. I mean, it was, it was just fabulous. Um, I don't think it's called edible dust. It's edible... Edible luster. <laughs> luster. That's a much nicer word than edible dust, Fiona. <laughs> uh, eight incredible impressions. Beautiful borders. Great for the crafting or the culinary. This is what's so beautiful about the way in which you can cross, you know, use these in whatever your favourite crafting um, employment, whatever it is that you do. But do have separate ones, obviously, for the culinary as opposed to the crafting. So you, you keep them separate just for hygiene purposes. Available individually at 21.99, nearly 40% of the complete collection gone there as well. And they are seamless borders. Two flexible payments of 42 pounds 48, 630485. And of course, look to the web as well if you want to shop by fantastic Zuri themselves. Um, just, just shop by the brand themselves and just see what else we've got available for you on the web. Now the butterfly wings are very busy, always very popular and, and, and stunning as well. When you, I mean, I'm just thinking you could create mobiles, all sorts, uh, use a translucent resin, have it hanging from your windows so that the light shine through like a sun catcher. 19.99 for that beautiful mold. And of course, you've got that, you can mal you've got that malleability with the, the certain products as well, but you're using them when they haven't completely dried. I know Catherine's always talked about that as well in the past, 908. 782 freedom discount there so please become a freedom club member and then you could split that into two flexi buy payments over january february and still and uh, not pay for your delivery you see so it's an investment there in the in the long term 24.99 for the perfume bottles three impressions but they can do so much more than there than that you've got the atomizer you could have a decanter there with the with your lovely merlot um freedom discount there 19.99 for all three of those four five seven zero eight nine or oh, we're thinking soaps we're thinking um fudge we're thinking waxes candles uh sweets we're thinking resin soft clay chocolate i mean endless possibilities let's have a look at some of the waxes for the crafting so these are your metallic wax paste great saving on those look at that S yes from 26.97 down to 19.97 venetian gold and bora bora there in the blue Add it to your basket, you see, and then if you want to create a flexi order, which is a fantastic event we're running right now, takes it down to 9.99 in January, 9.99 in February. You have got your delivery on top of that, but you think about two deliveries, that's, uh, you know, four, for £7.90. You, for the 7p, become a, become a Freedom Club member. And then there's anything else that you see, or there's other Freedom discounts on the Zuri Moles, up to 20%, have a little look more. Take advantage of the savings as well. And you can opt in and opt out, as always. Right, that's enough for me, Catherine. OK, right, now I've, I've still got some clay left, so we're going to use that, but just to bring in one of the bugs, actually, if I may show you this. Ooh, um, the chocolate bug. Now, that's not chocolate, that oh, is not? fondant. It's the that fondant. Is that's black <gasps> fondant, yes, but using the edible luster again. Now, I actually dusted directly into the mould with the luster in the same oh. way that I, I often do with resin. Yes. I tried it with the fondant as well, so rather than painting on top, just dusting it dry into the mould, putting the fondant on top, and okay. then taking it out of the mould. Now, I want to have, have a quick look as well at the borders, the seamless borders, because I think these are so versatile. If you haven't gone for these yet, I'd urge you to put these into your basket. 
okay, if you can afford them, because you will use them so many times over. Now, I've already taken one out of the mould. I've left that so it's quite flexible. I've got one that was done in fondant here as well, just to show that you can work with your different mediums again. Um, I am using corn flour just because the clay is still very sticky. But, you know, quite an easy technique with the borders themselves. So you've got so many different designs. They are all different as well. Some look a little bit more lacy. I think if you look into them as well, you'll see detail that you don't appreciate is there until you see them cast. So absolutely beautiful. Now, you can, again, work with one lump of clay and just spread it out. But I tend to roll out. This is exactly how I do the same thing with the fondant. I'd roll it out, and then I would push in with fingertips, working from one end of the mould right to the other. And if you've got too much, you'll find as you get to the end, you can just sort of break off the excess. Now, I once again would use a rolling pin. I want to make sure that is really compacted down because it's got so much detail in there. We want to make sure that it's picking up every bit of that detail. Now, the borders, going back to the flexibility of the moulds, you can see much, much th thinner than the telephones uh -huh. because if they were too thick, getting a long strip out you would not manage to do it if they were really really thick plus because you can use these like lace borders as well you want that delicacy you don't want them to be too chunky so i'm just tidying up the edges with a fingertip just sort of working in from the edge so i can see that nice edge you can also cut this away with scissors afterwards but you know the more that you can tidy up now the better it's going to look and then the easiest way probably to work with this one and you will probably get away with clay a little bit wetter with the borders because, you know, they haven't got the same sort of sticking points. They haven't got those twiddly yes, bits around the edge. Yes, it's just one long strip, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But if you can manage to flex and you can see one end and then literally just flip that over mm. and allow that just to fall out, it's as simple as that. Wow. Now, I, you know, there's so many ways you can work with this. I did talk about mitering corners. If Let me just put this on top of one of the the mould so you can see you will find that the ends will match you'll get those ah. patterns perfectly now you can spend time to really lose that seam if it doesn't worry you you can see the little join yeah. if that doesn't worry you fine yeah. if it does worry you there are ways around it but I would probably say with something like an air dry clay the more that you manipulate that now the more you're going to squash it out of shape so I would probably leave that little gap in there and fill that in once it's dry you could use a little bit of water and try and blend it, but you're likely to squash some detail. of the detail. And look how detailed that mm. is. Now, if you wanted to mitre the corners, you could do as well. We're running out of time. But, you know, I found a little jar that it oh, looks as though that perfect. is going to fit oh. perfectly. So at 8 o'clock, we're going to do a little bit more with this. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Catherine. Catherine will be back to us at 8 o'clock, so we'll see more of the lovely Bugs and Beetles and more of those borders and more of this fantastic one-day special. Over 40% now has gone. Please don't miss out. I'm sure you agree when you see the quality of those large, beautiful, thick moulds. That is great value. Please check out your baskets. Wouldn't want you to miss out. Has happened in the past with Zori launch launches. Two flexible payments in 1999, 944179. Thank you, Catherine. We'll see you at 8 o'clock. Thank you for all those beautiful ideas. Let us know what you use in your Zuri moulds.